What is up everybody? Escape211 here and we're doing another best loadouts video. This time we're going to be focusing on your boy Surge because he is a top tier mech and he definitely deserves a best loadouts video. Now this one we're going to go uh, early game to late like usual and we're going to start a two star because you can get him early if you buy him and work all the way up to max. Now I'm going to do things differently. I'm going to try to just show gameplay of a more common build but then talk about all the other builds pretty quickly. My wife says that I talk too long on these videos a lot of times so we're going to try to speed through it a little bit faster but I'm hoping I'm going to be able to cover all the best loadouts at least what I think all the best loadouts are for this guy. So with that all said Let's get into it. We're gonna start here with Surge at two star and a two star probably the most common or the best build in my opinion would be the dual shotgun four. If you're someone that spends, this is a great mech to get early on at this early level. And if you, you know, spend some resources and you have some eight coins, getting the shotgun four goes perfectly with Surge. This build will, obviously Surge is really good throughout the whole game, but this build will shred early game. Being a two star weapon, getting in close, good for Surge, super, super strong. All right, similar to that in the two star range, you can have the dual plasma cannon for Now, I'm not one who loves the plasma cannons. As you know, they're a terrible weapon in my opinion, but super, super early, if you get it super early, it can actually be strong um, and it fits well with Surge for getting up close in people's faces. Plasma cannons are really hard to hit, but if you can, you can shoot through stuff, especially if you can get in that side and back damage, which is really easy to do with Surge, uh, especially with such a small clip, but very strong for early game, uh, very nice. Then after that, I would say for two star, uh, you know, where you have that uh, eight energy will be dual RPG four. If you're someone that wants to save a few bucks uh, and just, or maybe already you have the, the RPG four that you're using for other stuff and you switch it onto this, it can be really good with that. Now this trades that up close insane damage or potency for uh, a little bit of range, but you can still get up close, get good damage in on the side and back. It gives you a little more of a flexible build. And like I said, you can save a few bucks doing it. So not bad for early game if you want to go that route as well. Next, we got 12 energy, which is three star and probably the most common build would be the dual arc turret six for surge here. All right, uh, very solid build. And again, a close up weapon. You're going to see a pattern of a lot of close weapons that work for surge and it makes a lot of sense. The Arc Turn 6 is one, especially if you get the Battle Pass, that will be a easy one to get on the Progress Path. And if you get it earlier on, it is going to be very potent at four stars. Now this is one that relies more on consistent damage on your targets, but that's not a huge issue for Surge just because he can freeze them and then get that consistent damage in on the sides in the back. It can be very, very useful and very strong. So solid build for him for sure. Next up, we have the Shotgun 8. Four, all right, we had the shotgun fours before, you know how potent they were at two star, and you're just going to kind of up that at the six star and add in the eight. The eight is a really good weapon, probably the strongest damage wise of the eight energy weapons. You may not have an offer for it, but if you do, I think it's a good one to get to use for surge later or for some other mechs like kill shot or whoever that you want to use for that close up damage. Very good weapon to get um, if you're able to get it at this point. All right, and then lastly at the three star, we have the Missile Rack 6. Now again, this focuses on bursty type damage and can be really nice for getting in close on your target and then getting side and back damage. Sometimes you can do it with a single volley on certain targets and then you have that other one ready to take out other targets. Um, there is gonna be a lot of downtime with the Missile Racks, but that's not too bad for um, Surge just because he also has some downtime with his EMP. So if you're able to quickly get in, do the damage you need on certain targets, this can be a very good assassin style build especially if you need to kill something quick so pretty solid one and you know if your aim is pretty good you can even get some longer range shots with it it's not easy to do but it still can be pretty effective in that way too sometimes all right, we are at 16 energy now, and the first one we got at 16 energy, and probably the most common, is the Dual Missile Rack 8. Now, uh, this plays very similar to the 6, and even though there's other great close-up options, this is probably the most common because it's on the progress path, and you get it at four stars when you start, so it fulfills the 16 energy really nice. Again, complements Surge well, and works well with the timing of his uh, dash, I think. So, a really solid one, but you guys know how this one works. All right, so let's move on to the next one, and that is the Dual Shotgun 8. Again, we got an idea of how the shotgun guns work and this is probably the strongest especially if you level it well uh, build that you can have at this stage this the shotgun 8 can just rip through stuff and works perfectly with surge in the same way we talked about before just getting up close and doing that crazy good damage even with groups of targets very very strong 
And then, of course, we're gonna have the Arc Torrents. We can't we can't be talking about Surge without Arc Torrents and all these close-up weapons, right? So now we have the Arc Torrent 6 and 10. Now this one might be less achievable in some ways to people just because you spend uh, those eight coins on the 10. And, uh, you know, if you're someone who spends, you might not even really focus too much on the 10. You might get the 12. I don't really know. It depends on the certain person. You may not even have the six, depending on what you bought early on. But uh, still, this is great. I mean, the, the Arc Turrets, again, come at four stars, and they can be great for people to use. Uh, and this build is no different than others. Now, the last build I'm going to talk about is a little less common, and that is the Carbine 8. All right. Now, this one, you know, doesn't have exactly the same damage output as some of the others, but it's not bad with this consistent damage and can work really well with surge for close-up damage if you're someone that doesn't really spend you may not want to get this because it's a lot of eight coins but if you do you might get a good offer for picking it up for a few bucks and why we talk about it for surge as a good loadout is because he has achievements related to the carbines and if you want to get it this early and you can get good damage in it's not a bad option to use at all Next we have five star, which is 18 energy. And this is kind of an odd spot. So even some of those 16 energy builds you used before could work, especially like the shotgun eights, just because it's so potent. But if you're able to use some of these builds to maximize that, here are some options, all right? One common one, I think the most common one is the arcs I got here, and that is the arc torrent six and 12. Kind of an odd build in terms of your arms, especially for corner shooting stuff, but you don't do that a whole lot with the arc torrent, so it makes sense uh, and can still be, you know, just more potent than what you had before by fulfilling that 18 energy. So very good one there. Next up, we have the uh, Missile Racks, all right? You got the Missile Rack 6 and 12. This one is more of an oddball with the arms, but again, if you're gonna be able to use both or get in back damage, um, it probably won't make a massive difference. But uh, because this is so opposite build for it, it's definitely one you're gonna wanna be careful about when you fire because it's always fire and forget. And if you're not firing both at the same time, it might feel odd and obviously the power difference between your arms. So a little trickier to build, but is preparing you and setting you up for the later use of the Mr. Rack 12. So not bad there. The next one is arguably the strongest, but maybe the most difficult, and this would be the EM Rifle 8 and 10. The EM Rifles are super strong, and they can be very effective on Surge. Now, Surge, of course, likes to get up close, but if you use it more for just speeding around, and then you actually dash right into walls to activate stealth, pop out, and get EM shots, you can do it with little retaliation because people won't see you or know that you're there and do some really strong damage. And because all the EMs, probably except the six, are good, this can be really good on Surge. And given his speed, being able to move as you're taking shots is very, very handy for sure. Next, we're getting into the 20 energy category at six star. I'm gonna start with a less common build. This is the Disc Launcher 812. I haven't done much on the Disc Launcher yet with Surge, but it can actually be very good. I start to see it more end game when you can start packing in the 12. So that's why I mentioned it here. Uh, not a bad one. Uh, it definitely is more about having clutch times when you can get groups of guys. Single targets, not the greatest for it. So it's definitely not as good, I think, as some other builds for some people, but I, use, I see some high-end players use this and can use it very effectively, can be very deadly and can pull off some really clutch plays. Very interesting build to use, but not as common. A more common one that I see at six star would be the dual arc 10. Now this isn't something that you're gonna see a ton of high-end players run just because not many people I think are trying to max out their arc 10s unless they already have them maxed out but if you're free to play this is probably what you're putting on your surge at this point and may even use it end game still very potent because arc turns are really strong um, and very effective but you guys already know how all this works for arc turns so we'll move on to the next one and that will be uh, the missile racks we got the missile rack 812 uh, again this is you know opposite arms a little bit but the gap isn't as big um, and uh, these are definitely a little more common because a lot of people get the eights and then, uh, you know, if you get it available to you in a certain uh, offer, then you'll probably have the 12s as well. Very good build that you can use. But again, we know how this one works for missile racks, pretty straightforward. Um, next up though, we're gonna talk about a couple less common builds. And first one is gonna be the dual graviton beam 10, all right? The, the 10 is probably not the strongest of the set, of course. Um, and we'll talk about the 12 when we get to that, but it can be very effective. And the graviton beam is one that gives you a lot of flexibility for range, and then you get damage. And then of course, when you EMP somebody, you'll be able to land that implosion easily 
because they're stuck. So with Surge, it actually is pretty good. Uh, I've seen people use it for certain types of maps, certain types of instances, and it can be very useful, surprisingly useful actually with Surge, I think, um, but very, very good one. Um, and then the last one, again, less common, but uh, it's the Carbines again. We're gonna do the Dual Carbine 10. Um, as a free-to-play player, you may not get this because you'll have to max it out. Um, and you know, that can be a lot of resources, but if you spend, uh, this may not be a bad one to pick up, especially if you use it for this or for other builds, that kind of stuff. Nice, certainly for that achievement hunting that we've talked about. So, um, you know, it can be a pretty interesting one to use in this instance. And now we got the maxed out surge. You're gonna see a lot of 12 energy builds carrying out from before. And the first, the most common by far, is the dual arc turn 12s. And it makes sense, we've talked a lot about the arc turns before, but he's just a really great setup and mech for the arc turns. So it makes sense to take the best arc turns and put the best ones on him for end game. Uh, probably the best mech to run it with overall. All right, next up we got the dual Misarak 12s. All right, uh, very solid one here. Like we said, one that um, just puts in good damage. You can use individual volleys and works well with his dash. So uh, not much else to say about this. Just again, carrying on those 12 energy uh, sets that will just maximize your damage in all these instances. All right, uh, next after the dual Misarak 12, we got the dual EM 12s. Now I don't think Surge is the best mech to use, use the, the dual EM-12s on, but uh, if you want that speed of a sniper and being able to use that stealth, he can be very strong with it. So uh, definitely very potent, very strong, um, and just, you know, EM rifles work well on so many mechs. Uh, so Surge is no different, so that's why we have it in the list here. Then we have the dual disc launcher 12s. Like I said, this is not one that is necessarily as common as like those straight damage ones, but it's one where you can pull off those clutch plays and get group kills. It can be very effective. I also like it for early game beacon running uh, with the team. Very, very strong for that. Uh, very effective, you know, just in, in that same sense. And disc launchers are always going to be a solid weapon in a lot of ways. All right, then some of these slightly less common, again, would be the graviton beam 12s. Um, you know, just a lot of great flexibility with this, even though it's a little less common, still a really solid build. And again, you're going to be able to get that implosion damage easily when you're EMPing someone down. But uh, great flexible weapon, good consistent damage that you can get. And then, of course, we got the Carbine 12s. So this is a good one, especially if you're getting the Carbines from the progress path. Makes a lot of sense to work with Surge for completing achievements and then just getting in solid damage. And because they are the 12s, you're going to be able to get in side back damage, optimal range, all that together. And it puts out surprisingly good damage. So it makes sense why it's even included here as well. And there we go, those are the best loadouts that I can think of for Surge. Did I miss any? You guys can let me know. There is one that I was thinking about. I wanted to almost say maybe rocket mortars, though I don't really think it's ideal to use that for Surge. The only context I would really think to use it for is either trying to do specific achievements, specifically his achievements, because rocket mortars is in there, kind of like I mentioned for carbines, but rocket mortars just don't really suit him in the same way it might suit like kill shot in my mind. So I didn't really mention that one here, but you know, if that's one that you like or some other builds that you think could be really good feel free to comment below and we'll see you out there on the battlefield